Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep dot com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And the the point of this, I think it's episode 187, I do believe. The point of this podcast is for me to just talk to you for roughly an hour about whatever comes into my mind. And that really is it. It's just talking about stuff that's not going to be particularly exciting for you because That probably wouldn't be conducive to falling into a deep healing, natural, safe and groovy sleep. Now, this podcast is also here for those of you who just like to listen to me talking, even if you're not listening for the reason that we, you know, that I talked about just then. And you may be listening because of the company. You know, someone to just listen to or maybe background sounds when you're sitting in a comfortable, supportive chair or lying down on your bed. And I make these recordings fairly regular Lee in fact sometimes I make them day Lee and it all depends on how I'm feeling and what is going on with my life on that particular day.
because sometimes I'm busy doing other things and then sometimes I'm just feeling too lazy to do anything at all except watching television or maybe a nice movie although I don't generally find out if it's a nice movie until I have watched that movie although sometimes I will see a film review and occasionally I think to myself oh that looks like it may be an enjoyable movie to watch and so I decide to watch that film however some times the actual movie isn't quite as fulfilling as the YouTube clip
gave. Impression wise, but you know what I always say. Sometimes you have to eat a bit of dirt which is Probably a weird thing to say and after hearing my self saying that short sentence out loud I am beginning to Question whoever or not to use that sentence again. especially as it made no sense what so ever and Also, I'm not really sure why I pronounced that last word the way that I pronounced it but it seems so long ago that I said the word that I am not sure if I pronounced it correctly that I have completely for gotten what 
word it was that I was referring to because the words that I have used in this recording seem to just drift a way it's as if as soon as the words Lop out of my mouth. They seem to a p r in to nothing just like your thoughts start to slow down And it seems to cause a traffic jam. Of thoughts and eventually the cars in the traffic jam or should we perhaps call them thoughts start to turn away and The reason why I 
just referred to those thoughts stuck in that traffic jam as cars is simply because I forgot what it was that I was talking about and my mind went blank and even now as I sit back in this semi comfortable chair I find my self feeling so relaxed and I find my self feeling my whole body and mind to feel so incredibly relaxed and so so tired 
that in actual fact I could easily really easily go to sleep it's as if the only part of me that isn't asleep is my mouth which is saying these Without any real interaction with my brain. which may sound a bit unusual but that is how it seems to me at this moment it's All that I can do to just move my lips and tongue in such a way as to Create these words of. 
Andre has just arrived after being asleep himself for the last couple of hours. And I wish that he still was asleep. He's now having a big drink of water. like he may have been thirsty but Now he has run out of the is probably miss be hey thing somewhere else The reason I say our home instead of my home is because both me 
and on Dre the ferret both share this home to get the in peace and harmon e apart from when he poos on my pillow apart from his occasional fraternization with his naughty side we generally most of the time get on fairly well with each other and I find that to be quite at Van Tay just as it seems like a good I dear to get along well with somebody who you share your living quarters with now me and Andre don't always see eye to 
I because he is much closer to the ground which means either I have to lay flat on the ground or I'll turn natively I could lift him up so that he is at my eye level so that we then can see I to I or should I say eyes to eyes ha 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 I guess it all the pens on how you look at things be cause some times people may take things literally for example when I say that when I talk this way it will very very likely lead to a real sense of complete tiredness we 
it will then become sleep. something quite special about being able to just let go completely and not think about any thing what so ever in knowing that you are safe to just relax and just let go completely. Let go completely. Because that is a really pleasantly relaxing sensation. 
sensation to be able to allow your self to feel really calm you allow your self to feel incredibly relaxed and you Self to feel so peaceful and Self to completely let go. to appreciate how wonderful you are now. self to experience the bliss that comes from being in your safe space and you allow yourself to really appreciate your 
yourself Appreciate yourself. Appreciate who you are. Appreciate who you have become appreciate all of those amazing qualities that you possess in abundance. Because you not only deserve to sleep easily and sleep naturally. To sleep safely, you also deserve to. Be happy. Because of all the people that you have helped over the years, even those that you may not even be aware of have still been affected in a useful and positive and possibly a life changing way which means that you 
can always sleep easily and soundly because sleeping naturally and falling into a deep healing natural sleep is your birth right because you Amazing and you truly deserve happiness. You deserve happiness. You truly deserve be and to feel 